Uh, the Gilgamesh story is um, quite complicated, so I don't, I don't mind re replaying the various parts of it. But you can find it all on YouTube um, in four or five parts. And I'm, I'm hoping now, I've got this through Twitter, so I've tweeted tweet this out, you can find the link to this. It's just the story of the, of the flood. Because I know, I know the story of the flood is in there, but it, it's a story within a story, and it's not, not obvious to find it. And I, I asked the storyteller to, to just tell the, the flood story uh, fairly quickly. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is, is going to work as a link. And uh, you can hear, hear this now. So that's a, that's a quite a short version of it, but I've also heard the flood was the Mediterranean or various other seas. Uh, there's different different stories exist around it, I think. And also, uh, I thought the gods were upset about cutting down trees, but apparently not. the the city The city came into existence and caused all kinds of difficulties, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't the attack on the trees, it was the noise, the noise that upset the gods. Um, the, other, the other one I've tweeted, which I don't think I can play on, on Phonic FM, is a, a one minute version of the whole Gilgamesh story from um, BBC Radio 4 Today show. Robert McFarlane told the story in the, during a, a talk about trees. Uh, but you can find that. I have tweeted a link to it, and I think this is this is this is where YouTube is taking us. That all sorts of things are, are okay on YouTube. And you can do playlists, but you can't nick everything, uh, borrow everything. Sampling is restricted in some ways, uh, which is which is right right and proper, obviously. But you'll need to you'll need to go to we not know and look for the look for the links but we got we got the main Gilgamesh story down to one minute and then that was the flood story in another minute so we're set up for radio and social media because the um, the flood story is is a very suitable climate story and also there's a, a tapestry part of the art and artifact which i think uh we can use uh for so for tweeting and social media in the, f in the future uh we can use that as a as an image uh the, the image obviously is nothing like the tapestry you have you have to go to make tank between now and sunday week to get a good look at it uh but it's still a, a very useful resource and I think there's going to be more stories. The, the, the university came up with, with stories the last major climate conference. So I guess towards the end of this year, there'll be other ones. <laughs> 